and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting ice cream. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Brown, yellow, pink, red, white, a black marker, some paper, and your fingers. First, let's make our ice cream cone. Dipping into our brown, we're going to mix it with some yellow. This is going to make a nice light waffle cone like color. Does anyone out there like waffle cones? I love them, they're so yummy. And a little bit more brown. Okay, I'm going to make the cone. So, using our finger, we're going to make a big triangle. Make sure that you don't make this paint color too thick. Go in very lightly with your paint. If you have different variations of the color, some places it's darker, some places it's lighter, that's okay. We're just going to give that effect of having been on a waffle iron. It's not quite all even. We're going to make some lines using our fingers to fill in this cone. It's going to kind of give it the same look of maybe having an actual waffle cone. Okay, mixing a little bit more of this color and we're just gonna go in really lightly and kind of do a crisscross pattern depending upon how we like this. We might not actually use this black marker but it's helpful to have them anyways, just in case. I'm gonna to touch a little bit more brown and I'm kind of gonna go back the opposite way and filling in this cone. It really helps to think about what an actual ice cream cone looks like. You don't need a picture in front of you, but if you see the ice cream cone in your mind somehow, things like that magically start to appear on your painting. It starts to really look like what you're trying to make it look like. It's amazing how that happens. Like I said, it's like magic. Okay, so there you go. You kind of got this waffle cone pattern going on on your ice cream cone. And using a little bit more yellow, I'm gonna make just a lighter color and throw in some dots. We'll do a couple dots here and there, kind of just showing this checkerboard look like you would have with a waffle cone. Okay, so we've got some texture there, taking a little bit of brown. I'm gonna actually kind of do a little swirl, a little swivel, like a zigzag with our brown. A little zigzag, that would be where the waffle cone is folded over. See, just like that. We've taken our waffle cone and we've folded it over and it really does start to look like a waffle cone. Throw a few more of those highlights in. All right, but we can't have an ice cream without actual ice cream. All we've got right now is a waffle cone and that is a shame. So we're gonna make our waffle cone just go up a little bit. So this is where we're gonna fill in our ice cream, cleaning off our finger really, really well. You almost only need one finger, but we're gonna use more than one. We're gonna go in with our pink and we're gonna mix in a little bit of our white, put that right next to it. See, I like to use keep a clean finger so that I can dip into our white and I'm gonna mix it up make that mixy color because ice cream does have these swirly looking colors on them. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna just make the top of our ice cream cone. I'm gonna go in with the dark pink and make that outline of the ice cream. We're gonna make this ice cream bigger than our cone. It's gonna be so big, so big and tasty. Mmm, yum. Strawberry ice cream is one of my favorites. I know some people like chocolate or vanilla, 
or mint chocolate chip or rocky road what's your favorite ice cream flavor you can make any kind of ice cream flavor it's all in your imagination and what you enjoy i'm going to take some this red and i'm going to mix it with the pink that's going to create our strawberry color and i'm just going to throw some strawberry effects in there well, look it looks like a heart because strawberries have little chunks little chunks of strawberry in there it wouldn't look like an actual strawberry we're gonna make some darker some lighter and then we're gonna go in with our white and our pink and this is gonna be our highlight color and I'm gonna use this and just kind of touch over the top and anywhere we want the ice cream to really look like it's it's got the the highlight on it it's it shows where the sunlight hits the ice cream and we're gonna actually make a drip right here see just like that we're gonna just touch it and just drag it down just a little bit we're gonna put a big spot with our finger and I'm gonna just take the white on the tip and I'm gonna take this peak and we're just gonna kind of drag it up and lightly just touching it this is going to create just the highlight showing where our ice cream is dripping down see that white just really makes it look three-dimensional makes it look like that's a real ice cream cone and if you think about it they do mix they do mix the the strawberry with the vanilla in order to make the the strawberry vanilla the strawberry ice cream i'm gonna throw a little bit on the outside maybe this is a one of those ice cream cones that come out in a scoop and you got the edge of the scoop like so coming off that strawberry I'll throw a little bit couple little bits of red to show that strawberry effect and we're going to go in with our white and you just play with it you just keep adding because it's just paint it's just paint that's the nice thing about painting with acrylic paint and painting with your fingers is because you can just paint over it nobody's judging we're just having fun just having fun and making some paintings all right I think that I think I'm pretty happy with this. What do you guys think? How how's my ice cream cone? Do you like it? I hope you do. I'd love to see what your ice cream cone looks like. Be sure to hashtag it on Instagram, hashtag me, hashtag art for kids. Let me see your art and maybe you'll be the artist of the week. There you have it. Ta-da! Until next time. Bye!